to celebrate National Face Your Fears Day. The Sweetmans are getting ready to help one viewer overcome their phobia. Where are you, Nick and Eva? Hi, good morning, Holly. Good morning, Philip. We are on a mission today on National Face Your Fears Day in Bradford. We're here to help a young lady conquer her phobia of these beautiful creatures. And there it is. Yikes. That's a big one. That is, that a, is big a big one. one. See you in a bit. Still to come, will Speakman's be able to help Amy overcome her crippling fear of spiders? I didn't know we were going to show another one there, but we're not. We're all safe for now. They're live on the show. They're taking that challenge right after this break. Before that, as today is National Face Your Fears Day, we've sent Speakman's to help one This Morning viewer overcome her phobia. Well, they've headed to Bradford to introduce us to Amy Hill, who has been petrified of spiders for as long as she can remember. Hi, Nick and Eva. Hi, yes, yeah, so we are in Bradford and it is spider season. So eight-legged friends are kind of all over. They're coming into people's homes and it is causing havoc for people that have got spider phobias. And as it is National Fears Your Fears Day, we came to Bradford to meet Amy to hopefully help her over a phobia of spiders. So Amy, how bad is it? A lot of people have spider phobias. How bad is yours? Oh, it's, it's so bad. I think about it constantly. So I can't walk into a room without fully scanning everywhere and then even once I've done that and I'm sat down I'm constantly on like high alert looking around to make sure there isn't anything anywhere um but a couple of months ago this so this year when the spider season started um I work from home and Elliot goes out to work and so we've got the bathroom at the top of the stairs and another bathroom as well and I went up and there was a big spider in the main bathroom so I was like right, I can't go in there so I had to shut the door and just leave that and I could barely walk past it uh, so I went into the other one and there was another one in there as well, so I couldn't go e into either bathroom. <laughs> so you were a prisoner in your own home yeah. because of spiders? Yeah, well, when there's one in here, they own the house. <laughs> I don't own it anymore when there's one in. Have you ever moved out because of a spider? Yeah, well, um, I used to live on my own a few years ago. I lived in a flat by myself, which didn't last very long because of the spiders. Really? Yeah, and there was one in there, um, so I had to just drive over to my mum's house because I just couldn't be there with it. Yeah. So I stayed over and then when we went back, I had to make sure that it wasn't there. Mum had to come round and check every single room and make sure it's not ah. there. And, like, I kind of always hope that we do find it because then I know that it's gone. But... Yeah, because I know that you have your mum on standby, mm -hmm. then you've got Elliot, your boyfriend yeah. here, and you're on speed dial Absolutely, constantly. What, yeah. What's it like for you? Um, I always have to be on high alert as well. So um, if there's a spider in the room, I have to catch it, um, show Amy that I've actually caught it. Um, and then chuck it outside as far as possible uh, from the house. So you have to show to prove that it's not in the house anymore? Yeah, absolutely. She doesn't trust me that I say, <laughs> I've got it. Um, but, yeah, show her. She's fine. But she'll still be tense afterwards. I still have Goodness. to make sure that she's all right. And she's still on high alert. Really? Yeah. Well, well, Amy, what we really want to do is we want to really get, get you over this fear and really help mm -hmm. you. And part of our process is we'd like to see just sort of how you react and how you feel. So we do have a couple of little bits that we'd like to share with mm -hmm. you, if, if that's OK. Yeah, that's fine. Is As that we fine? show these things to you, what we'd like to do is give us a scale not to 10. 10 being the absolute worst, zero yeah. being you're not bothered. Mm -hmm. And then we can do the test afterwards and then you will know the difference. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. OK, so we do have... Uh, this is a, a, a toy spider, which yeah. I think actually looks quite real, don't you? It does. Yeah, I don't like the red eyes. Uh, and how does that make you feel? Uh, oh, it's the shape of the legs. So I'm at about a five or a six now. So if ten's the worst, this just a toy spider gives you a five or a six. Yeah, the legs are like jiggling and <laughs> no, I don't like and it. How do you feel about Halloween, by the way? Because obviously we're close to Halloween. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible because people have them up like out all the time there's a house down the street that has a big tree in their garden and all year round they've got this that but like on a bigger scale always stuck to the tree so if we've ever got a dog here and i walk it i can't walk past that tree because it's just massive it's okay. horrible okay we've how do you some... feel about that oh <laughs> oh yeah no that I'm, I'm about seven and a half well probably a bit more about an eight actually on that oh no oh. yeah no <laughs> Not, not good. Okay. Not good. Got one and, last thing. Okay. One final thing. <laughs> How would you feel? And obviously, only mm -hmm. as much as you want to do, Amy. So we don't want to make you feel really bad. But how would you feel if we were to bring a real spider in to see you? 
I, I don't think I could do that just now, you especially can't. like because it's my living room as well. It, it, I don't think I could have it in here. So we can't do that now. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, we understand, and I do think that it's time to to get to the bottom of this fear so that that you can finally face your fear once yeah. and for all. <laughs> fear yeah. is in, yeah. Yes. So we've got an hour to work with Amy, so please join us later. For yeah, this. We'll uh, we've done, do. we're hoping to get her over this wow. and hold a spider. Well, you can do there, it, Amy. Yeah. You're in the Good very luck, best of hands, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Now then, earlier on, on, we challenged the Speakmans to help Amy overcome her crippling fear of spiders. Well, they've had just over an hour so far, so let's see how they've got on. Morning, Nick and Eva. How's it all going there? Morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So far, so good. I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, Amy has struggled with a really crippling fear of spiders since she was a little girl, and we saw an hour ago how bad that was. We couldn't even bring a live spider into the room. Amy said to us, "There is no way we could get her over this phobia." How are you feeling now? Yeah, a bit confused, but better. Okay, so far, yeah. And now, how do you feel, Elliot? Do you think we could get her over this phobia? Uh, I wasn't too sure, to be honest, because um, it's so severe and crippling. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether she can actually have the spider in the room <laughs> and hold it. OK, so let's uh, replicate the test as before. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Yeah, fine. Eyes are You're cute fine. now. <laughs> and that was a seven or an eight. How's that? Yeah, it's fine. Is that it? One? Yeah. You're good with those? Yeah. Can look so, at okay. Those? How okay. do you feel about us actually bringing a live spider into the room this time? Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Come on, let's do it then. <laughs> Come on in, Dave. This is Dave with Rosie, his oh, little hi, tranquil. Rosie. <laughs> Would you like to hold her? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Well done. <laughs> Oh my god, that's ridiculous! Oh, hi. Did you ever think that you could do that? <laughs> no, this is really feel, weird. And you feel okay? Yeah, I feel fine. Oh, well, congratulations! With it. There you wow. go. An hour later, and uh, not only has Amy changed her mindset, but she's faced her fear and oh she's conquered her phobia. That's amazing. amazing. I can't that's believe amazing. she's still holding it. Give hey, it back guys, to Dave. It, I, when she said, turned and said, "Come in, Dave," I thought that was the spider. <laughs> But the spider was called Dave. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. That is incredible. This is, Rosie. this is Rosie the spider. Rosie, well done. <laughs> I mean, you. just Thank incredible. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not great with spiders, but I definitely wouldn't pick up one like that at all. Well, you've spoken to my Steph, haven't you? And, and I mean, she's exactly the same. Uh, yes. She has the same phobia. She's utterly and completely terrified of spiders. And she said, as everyone says, I'll be the one person they won't be able to sort out. That's the one. Yep. Amy she said did. exactly the same. She didn't think she said it that she'd had it for too long. Elliot said it was too deep-rooted. Mm -hmm. But literally, when you find the cause and you give them a little bit more information, I think that um, Amy now feels that you quite like oh, them now, Yes, quite sweet. <laughs> well, well done. Well done, well done as always. Bravo. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.